Friends, how you doing today? I got a quick sewing video for you today. I am sewing on, uh, let's see, let me show you. It's book pages that I like I've been sewing on uh, recently. I wanted to show you this one because it's a, I've been trying to use some of my napkins that I never use, you know, use it or lose it type of thing. So this was a really pretty one. Look how gorgeous these are. Let's see, I'm trying to figure out which way is up. I think this way. Yeah, there are some words on here that go this way. So isn't that pretty? And so I've been using brown thread a lot on a lot of mine. I think I used some red thread on some Christmas ones. I already had red thread in here. And I was about to sew with the on these with brown thread. This is what I did this way, this orientation. And see, my napkin is even wrinkled, but I don't care. <laughs> and this one here. Get the words upright. So, uh, yeah, then I noticed uh, these have pink on them. And I thought, oh, wouldn't that be fun to uh, sew with pink thread? And I was so excited. So I couldn't wait to put pink thread in my sewing machine here. And I was so excited. I already started sewing. I was like, oh, wait a minute. I was going to do a video. <laughs> so let me show you. Uh, let's finish this one. And then I'll show you. I mean, it doesn't take much to excite me, right? Some pink thread. That's all it takes. <laughs> But I'm about to go around this corner, so let's finish this one, and I'll show you what it looks like. I'm using the, um, hold on, let me get myself situated here. I'm using the um, number three stitch, zigzag stitch on this machine, if you have this one. I just say that in case you have this one. Sounds good, doesn't she? Works so much better now that I figured out the thread threading problem. <laughs> it's all in the bobbin, right? Okay, let's turn this corner. Overlap a little. I always always overlap the beginning and the end. Kind of like a little security here. Nothing comes unraveled. Okay. There it is. My first pink thread stitched journaling. This one's a journaling card because of the orientation. So there you go. There it is on the front. Looking perfectly beautiful and pink. There it is in the back. I had... Um, what I had uh, already, I had this pink thread, and I don't know, if, yeah, you can see it here, see how bright pink it is, and I had one already, a bobbin already threaded, but it's a little light, lighter pink, but I just went with it, you know, I didn't think it really mattered, so that's that's how it came out, you can't really even tell the difference on the, on the journaling card, can you? I mean, it looks darker on the back, but I don't think it is. I think it's just because it's got the plain, that's piano paper on the back. You know, piano roll. Piano roll paper, I should say. Anyway, let's do another one. Let's do one that's, uh, let's see, these are, uh, those are landscape. Let's do one up and down or portrait format. Let's see what this one looks like. Let's go. Just want to make sure I'm in enough there. Yep, that looks good. Okay. Takes me a second to decide whether I'm gonna just go ahead and go turn it on sometimes. Oops. Felt like it was getting stuck. 
So I don't know if it was or not. It probably was my imagination, but I just kind of pulled on it a little bit to make sure it wasn't getting stuck, you know, on the, uh, with all the threads. And I do have, what, na napkin, three layers of book page and the peon paper. So technically five layers of paper. <laughs> so... Okay, we're going to overlap just a second. Okay, I'll show you where it got where I think it got stuck because it just maybe was a little bit thick in that area or something. I you know you got a layer of glue in there that could add some bulk to actually. So you know, it can't, you know, when the, something feels like it's getting stuck here on your, the things, the little treads that pull your, pull your, you know, piece through under the presser foot. Uh, if it feels like it's getting stuck, I just kind of usually have to just, I just pull on it a little bit. Or maybe you can pick this presser foot up and just, it feels a little loose. Let me, take, no, it's not loose. But, um, you know, and push, you can see if you can push a little bit, but. Here's where I thought it was getting stuck. Uh, I think it was right. There's a little, see this little part that looks like it has more threads right here. There's two of them. Maybe it was getting stuck there too. But it doesn't matter. I mean, it's not like if there's anything wrong with that. Actually, it adds a little bit of homemade charm to it, doesn't it? Anyway, I really like that one too. Here's the back. So, very pretty. Shall we do a couple more together? I think we should. Let me see. Let's sew these. So these will just be sewing here. Let's see if it gets caught anymore. Kind of interested in seeing. I gotta grab a tissue. Sorry. Got my allergies today. Ugh, goodness gracious. The leaves are falling today, let me tell you. I was outside, it was Look beautiful though, you know, the leaves coming down. Okay, let's uh, let's get this one going. figured out what I was doing wrong with the bobbin because I wasn't using this machine that much. And now that I am, I can have my color thread over here and my brown thread over there at my other machine. <laughs> they can go back and forth. If I want color, I'll come to this one. If I want brown, I'll go to that one, right? It makes life a little easier and quicker get things done a little quicker instead of having to change my thread like every time I want to change a color I have color over here I mean you know because I use a lot of brown and I used to use a lot of black but lately it's been brown I kind of go and get into modes of oh, that is so pretty oh first of all I love the napkin <laughs> it's gorgeous and then the the uh, thread is makes it even prettier but I have been, uh, I saw, I never did this before, but I saw someone do it and they were putting napkin down on uh, something. It doesn't matter what it is, but oh, it actually goes like this. Yeah, it actually goes like this. Uh, these little blooms hang upside down, I guess. But uh, yeah, I saw someone doing it and they were using a glue stick like I did to put it down and then they did, ran over at the top of it with glue stick. And that's what I did too, kind of like Mod Podging it, but with a glue stick over the top and after it dries you can't even tell that you did that but I guess it does put a little bit of extra strength and uh, you know top layer on there possibly but you know why not if it you can't even tell you I mean I can't tell I did it's still soft to the touch so 
let's do a couple more here together. So I hope this is inspires you to uh, use maybe uh, use your sewing machine and your colored thread and your book pages and your napkins. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm trying to be careful in my corner, so that's why I'm going so slow around the corners. Oh, I didn't cut my thread off. Oh my goodness, what am I going to do? You know I like to cut the threads off before we get to the end. The beginning threads. Okay, we'll see how it comes out. So I can see some strings in there getting caught up. They'll probably just get caught up in the in the beginning and the end there. Okay, let's see. Yeah, they're yeah they're all caught up in the in the uh, beginning and end kind of threads, kind of sewed over it. But there's just a little piece and it's sewed right over it. You can see a little bit of it right here. It's good though. It's fine. Okay, so this one goes like this. Yeah, the words are upright. I might go over that a little bit with a, another layer of, of uh, to see if I can flatten that out at all with a layer of uh, a little bit more. But it doesn't really matter. The point of it is, is a pretty napkin and you can write on the back or you can put it down as a tuck spot or a pocket <clears throat> in your journal. So let's do one more, see how this one turns out. <clears throat> This is all. This is all this. This beautiful napkin I got in Happy Mail. So this is all of it that uh, I have left to do here. I think I gotta check my pile of uh, cards I've been working on. But I think this is the rest of this napkin. If it isn't, I'll certainly be bringing the rest of them over here and finishing them off with this pink thread. Before I have to take it out of my machine. <laughs> let's see, let's get this corner going here. Okay, now let's get straight. Okay, I'm gonna get my threads this time. <laughs> Forgot last time. Totally forgot. Them. Didn't even see them. Totally forgot about them. Turn, turn, turn. Okay, back. Back stitch a little. And there we go. The last one is done. So I hope that. Um, gave you a little motivation to, you know, dig out your threads and use some of the colors if <laughs> you haven't been like me. And there's that one. So we did all of these. Uh, these are the, let's see, we did three of the um, kind of, you know, this one's upside down. The uh, landscape format. Aren't they gorgeous? And two of the up and down or portrait. Let's see, portrait, um, portrait um, format. There we go. Thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day.